Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to quickly talk to you about uh, the security, trust, assurance and risk framework or model, which is called the STAR model from CSA, which is the Cloud Security Alliance. Okay, now what is it? So the first thing if you look at the STAR program is an open certification framework. And if you see over here type of audit, you have one in the yellow, which is the star level one. And if you integrate continuous self-assessment, you always get a continuous level. Then star level two, again, if you get a continuous self continuous self-assessment, then you get star level two continuous. And you have the star level three, which is the highest level. It's kind of the maturity model you can think of if you are familiar with the CMMI framework, the more mature you are in your processes you can come and you can do an external audit they will look at your processes and they will assign a cmmi level number for your company right so who benefits from this so the way i look at it there are two kind of uh, people or organizations who will benefit from using the start program first of all all the cloud provider you if you are a cloud cloud provider you can definitely use this framework to to uh, to validate that you are using all of the security that are needed to provide a secure cloud infrastructure to your clients okay and also uh, if you are, are, are a company who are building and using uh, third party cloud providers to build wonderful applications okay that you will be uh, like a, you are a cloud broker you can also use this program to validate yourself. So some of the tools over here, if you just go, I'll give you this link, uh, cloud service provider. So what it does it uh, for to the cloud service provider, it enables solution providers to validate their cloud security and offer proof to current and future customers of the controls in place. For the customers, now, once you have this validation, you feel more assured that, okay, I know that this company, say Azure or AWS, they meet the star uh, recommended levels. Maybe you're a high security environment and you want a star level three and you go and validate, okay, do I have star level three assigned to this particular cloud vendor? And auditor and consultants, with star auditors, you can also get, uh, uh, you can grow your IT assurance business as a certified leader in the cloud specific security assurance. So uh, if you are assessment firm, you can also get uh, assessment, get uh, like a star auditor certified uh, uh, certification. So you can go and you can do this validation whether some other cloud provider is in fact uh, star certified, you can also do that. So here is a little bit of uh, more information. Uh, this program encompasses key principles of transparency, rigorous auditing and harmonization of standards. Companies who use the STAR indicate best practices and validate the security posture of the cloud offering. And uh, what they have, they also have a registry, okay, where you can see uh, a lot of cloud providers that will come and register themselves, okay, just to give you the assurance, okay, I have and I meet this particular STAR level. Now for the foundation tools, if you look at, there are two tools for the security. Cloud controls metrics, I actually covered this in another video. Uh, this is the only meta framework of cloud specific security controls and it is it has been mapped to leading standards, base practices and regulations. Uh, CCM is currently considered a de facto standard for cloud security assurance and com compliance. So this is something if you are a cloud security professional, you should know about. And CAIQ is a really a yes no questionnaire that you use to evaluate a provider even before you move to cloud. Uh, you can go and download. It's a version three right now and version four will be coming out in the future. It's in a, a peer review mode. But you can download this uh, spreadsheet and fill out your yes and no answers to kind of evaluate uh, uh, and, and, and contrast between one cloud provider versus the other. Okay. And the third thing that they have is, uh, is the privacy, a GDPR code of conduct, okay, contains all the necessary requirements a cloud service provider has to satisfy in order to comply with the EU GDPR. 
Now, this has become a, a big thing uh, in the cloud and also in many phases of the business whenever you are crossing the international boundary, and especially if you have any representation in the EU, uh, you must meet this particular GDPR code of conduct. Okay, so what else? So we looked at uh, cloud service provider, how they can use it, how the customer yourself, you can use it as an auditor, how they can uh, benefit. So again, let's another quick look at uh, the different star levels. So again, three levels, each level, if you add continuous, you like a higher level in that level you can get. Uh, so the first level starts with the self-assessment. If you do a third party audit, so then not you are not self-assisting yourself you doing the self-assessment third party is coming and actually validating what you are saying is correct then you get a star level two and uh, for for star level three okay that one you have the automate the current security practices of cloud providers P providers publish their security practices according to the customers and two vendors can retrieve and present the information in in a variety of contexts so here your security is very very mature you have automation available and to uh, to control any security breaches to respond to it to protect your whole uh, cloud infrastructure all of that stuff so again some more guidance self-assessment you have this third party comes CSS star level 2 and uh, if you have a very high risk environment then the cloud security alliance they recommend uh, star level three okay so those are the uh, levels and again if you look at the registry uh, i think they have over uh, how thousand yeah thousand entries they have so thousand different companies they have come and if you look at it some of them they have provided self-assessment so i'm going down and i see only self-assessment now over here this is certification. So certification usually means the certification is coming from another party. So it's green. That means it's a third party certification, so which is even better than just a self-assessment. Okay. So let's just search for maybe Azure, see what comes up. Okay, Azure. And let's search and see if we have Azure. Okay, so we have Microsoft. So Microsoft looks like they have done a self-assessment they also have certification and then they also have attestation and they are registered since 2012 and pretty much you can click on any of these companies over here to learn a little bit more about the star attestation and uh, uh, stuff like that so certification star certification for version one uh, type of assist attestation uh, you can even download the certificate um, and supporting assets and they have uh, Microsoft 365 CRM online and you can learn a little bit more about what they have exactly done uh, when they when they did the certification so uh, that's about it now the next thing that we want to do so registry submit to registry so if you are interested in registering your organization uh, then you can use this link to go there and uh, register uh, your your service okay uh, if you're a cloud service provider and if you're auditor, you can register your client certification. Uh, then uh, there are star tools, CAIQ. This is the questionnaire that I talked talk to, you, to you about when you are uh, trying to choose different cloud providers. And I have already covered that in another video, so I'm not going to talk too much. But this is a, a setup questionnaire, yes and no, that you would use to fill out information to, to compare different cloud providers in terms of security. Again, the cloud control metrics is again a huge list of multi-domain specific control that you should review and kind of understand if there are any gaps in your current security. GDPR code of contact. Uh, they also have a CIQ light, a lighter version of it, and a uh, few other resources as well. Uh, Star Auditor, we looked at it. So if you go there, if you want your firm, uh, if you want to perform an audit, uh, from somebody else you can use this and uh, they will come and do the validation for you well that's all i wanted to cover in this video hope this has been useful i'll provide the link uh, thanks for watching have a great day